Liberals in complete meltdown over Trump's Thanksgiving pick in Florida because of what it caught. President Trump's Thanksgiving holiday was probably more like ours than we might have guessed it would be. He went out of town to one of his favorite places with some of his favorite people and spent the weekend fending off questions from nosy people asking him why he hasn't done what they instructed him to do. Given, his favorite place was a gorgeous resort in Florida, and the people giving him a hard time were liberals in the media and not his least favorite aunt, but the similarities still exist. The first family hosted a beautiful Thanksgiving weekend at their Mar-a-Lago resort and they invited a few guests. The problems arose when some of those in the media found out that they didn't get invited to the party, and at least one journalist did. Even though the president has waged a war on fake news, contrary to what the media would have you believe, he's not against news in general. There's a world of difference between the fake news media and those who actually try to bring an accurate portrayal of what is happening in current events. In a time when lies are believed much quicker than the truth, those who are dedicated to accurate reporting should be treated well, and that's just what the president did. According to BizPack Review, one of the president's guests for Thanksgiving weekend at Mar-a-Lago was Fox News host Brett Baer. The internet immediately erupted with accusations of collusion and media bias or the idea that some evil plan was afoot. The world of journalism was horrified to learn that one of their own was actually rubbing shoulders with the guy who was calling out the news media. It's as if Bayer doesn't consider the president to be his mortal enemy or that the president hasn't called Bayer's industry out numerous times for their faulty reporting. If those were the assumptions, they would be true. Journalists such as Bayer don't have anything to fear from the president because he knows that President Trump doesn't have any problem with reporting, he only has a problem with misreporting. The president isn't trying to do away with the free press. He's trying to do away with the press using the First Amendment to lie to and manipulate the American people. However, none of that stemmed the hatred for Bayer and his choice of who to spend a holiday with. When Bayer and Trump ran into each other, they took a moment to pose for a picture that went on to draw the ire of liberals. The photo was first reported by John Levine of The Wrap. In a statement, Fox News said Bayer had Thanksgiving dinner at the President's Resort at the invitation of professional golfer Jack Nicklaus, with whom Bayer and his wife stayed for the weekend. Trump golfed with Nicklaus on Saturday at Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, AP News reported. The day before, the President hit a few rounds with golfers Tiger Woods, Dustin Johnson, and Brad Farron. Even though the Fox News host only ended up at the President's Resort because his host, a golfer who is friends with the President invited him, the frenzy that there was media collusion would not be stopped. Apparently, even though the media has asked time and again for the President to be kinder to them, they don't approve of his choice. These people seem to think that a dinner equals undying loyalty. Perhaps for a liberal, it does but someone with journalistic integrity that they would like to retain is going to need more than just dinner to sacrifice a lifetime career. Unlike many on the Democratic side of the aisle, President Trump doesn't have plans to rule forever and doesn't ask people to throw away their lives in homage to him. This guy just seems bitter that they have money. That's a whole different problem for a different day. There's no indication that a burger and fries are what the Trumps were serving on Thanksgiving. But regardless, if CNN has no dirt, this shouldn't be a problem, and if they do, then the American people have the right to know, and Bayer has the right to report anything that he is legally made aware of and wishes to stake his reputation on. President Trump has made no secret of the fact that he considers Fox News to be a much more reliable source of news than CNN or a few of the other news giants. That has to do with the reputation and bias of the anchors, and like it or not, he's still entitled to an opinion. That being said, while the president doesn't have a close enough relationship with Bayer like he does with other Fox anchors, but he's obviously not considered an enemy. The left and the media can get their panties in a wad if they want to, but it won't change the fact that the president is allowed to invite a reporter to his home to talk anytime he wishes. Everyone might not like it, or they might think that it's some sort of plot to overthrow cable news. But those who are accurately reporting what the American people want to hear about shouldn't have anything to worry about. Those who aren't should worry, though not because of the president's Thanksgiving guests. Guests.